Hello friends, it's Sherry. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I'm here uh, with the Wreck This Journal episode. So um, I know some some uh, of my subbies have been and friends have been doing this along with me. So I wanted to share with you what I did at, since my last video because I did quite a bit. So on my last video we started uh, recovering this journal because I have the plain I think it's kind of plain looking the gray one you know I just thought it was pretty boring so um, I actually made up this little tie closure since the last video too so let me untie this I've had some of this uh, Disney fabric as I mentioned in my last video and I made a very long tie closure here <laughs> look how long it is it goes around and around and around but maybe that's because it's going to get huge and I'm just going to need all of this. <laughs> I don't know why I made it so long. But um, I can always cut it off. But uh, also I sewed it on here too. Right here I attached it. So we did this together on video last week where I glued fab fabric on here. And this is how it turned out. Really nice. Let me show you um, how it is open. See it's all nice and glued down no wrinkles really or anything I wasn't trying to get it perfect but I just wanted to look more interesting than it was and uh, so yeah that's the outside I did a little <clears throat> when I sewed this on I wanted it to be nice and strong so I sewed a little rectangle right here that's where it sewed on and the same in the back and I went ahead off video after the video last week <clears throat> and um, covered the inside of the book of the covers too with that Disney fabric so you see that here and you see it here turned out really cute right and then <clears throat> I added uh, my voice has been fine all day of course I get on video and of course I don't talk much all day so <laughs> anyway I talked a little and it was fine anyway I have some like vellum pockets here that I did sew onto right here and here and so I can put something there if I want to and I have one in the back too right here so I thought that was fun and then so last week I did a little work let's see I'll show you what I did we did this last week and so let's see we did that we did the tongue painting okay so I got a little smart alecky on this page. <laughs> yes, I did. I got smart alecky. So what I did, it says, and I, I am a very little literal person, even though I try not to be. <laughs> I am. I can't help it. It's my nature. So I, you know, uh, with, with that in mind and with my, you know, wanting to do alternative to some of these pages, wanted to be creative. And so what I did, this says, the instructions are, write one word over and over. So right here, I put in quotes. Um, I wrote quotes, quotes around the words, one word. It doesn't say, write your favorite word. It doesn't say, write any word you want. It says, write one word <laughs> over and over. So that is what I did. I'm wondering if ever, anyone's ever done that before. It's pretty obvious to me. Write one word over and over. So I wrote one word. <laughs> the word one and the word word. One word over and over. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was funny. And so on to the next page. Okay. So you can see the instructions through my little... Uh, artwork here but it says the instructions on these two pages were uh, tie a string to the spine of this book swing wildly let it hit the walls okay so I don't want marks on my walls I painted these walls for myself freshly when I moved into this craft room <laughs> I am not gonna put marks on these walls I like them nice and clean and pretty so and I don't want marks on any other walls in my house and you know I guess I could have gone outside but uh, the point of the, the moral of this story of these two pages is I did not want to do that so I said well okay string 
I can do something with string, I guess. So I looked around and I had these threads from my sewing machine. I thought, well, let me just make a textural page here. And I put some glue on here, glued down these. There's their black and blue threads. I guess I've been using black and blue thread recently. Oh, I think there's some white in there too. So, <clears throat> yeah, so I glued that down. It is not like, it's not like every piece is glued down, but it's glued down enough so see it's not coming off or anything. So, yeah, it's kind of textural and soft and different. So that's just kind of a crazy page. And then over here, I thought of string art. <laughs> so this is my DIY, uh, like kindergarten um, string art here. So I've never done a string art uh, project like where you buy those little projects that come. I think I've seen them. I know I've seen them online. I may have even seen them at Walmart, but <clears throat> I've never done one, but always wanted to. So I just, um, what I did was, I know how they're done is they have like little pegs and you kind of wrapped your, I think that you kind of wrap your string around and it makes a design. So I glued down little circles. They're cardstock, so they are strong. And I was hoping to be able to wind a lot of string around them, but it wouldn't um, let me <clears throat> get under here with a lot of string. So I just wound one string around. So I wound one string around kind of back and forth here and here and up here. I just rounded, wound it around to make the roof. This is a house in case you can't see it or don't recognize it as a house. But um, this is the roof. So I used Baker's twine, different colors of Baker's twine and wound it around here for the outline. And then I just kind of, you can see, kind of just wound it around so I could fill in the roof as you so you could see that it is a roof. And then these are the walls. And I did a little bit of uh, Baker's twine here to make the walls and the, and the house look more substantial. <laughs> and then I put a door here. It is kind of a dark purple, so it's hard to see on this dark color. But there is a door right here. And then this is a window. And I'll tell you what I thought of when I was doing this is I thought of, um, I had in mind, uh, Christine is doing, Christina is doing this with me also, and her granddaughter. And I was like, okay, Sherry, you gotta, you gotta let go of your perfectionism and think like a 10 year old girl, <laughs> a 10 year old girl. Okay. And she's a very, she's a 10 year old girl, girl going on 18 or, or 25 or something, but still, you know, uh, let go of your inhibitions and just do it you know what I mean so that's what I did when I did this <laughs> I kept that in mind so thank you for that inspiration ladies and uh, that is my string page so that was um, you know a lot I did already the inside of the covers the pockets the um, one word the string art <laughs> and then I did this page <clears throat> so here's another page I did not want to do pick up the journal without using your hands I mean uh, you know, uh, some of the prompts, I actually, after I did this page, I went through the rest of the prompts to see. And it's like, <clears throat> I don't know. Um, I know this is supposed to make you think outside the box, but that, you know, what, what do you do on a page for that? I mean, you can take a picture of yourself doing that, but that just seemed kind of, you know, nothing. I don't want to, you know, cut down the book or anything, but that just seemed like a boring prompt, you know, pick up this page without your hands. Yeah, that could be fun. But then you're left with a blank page that just says that. So <clears throat> before I got this <clears throat> book, with a, I was going to do a DIY uh, reckless journal, and I wrote down a bunch of prompts. And I, of course, I can't find it now. I'm still going to look for it, hopefully find it. But I remember one of them was glue zippers on a page. So I said, okay, because I have like millions of zippers <laughs> that I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I did make a couple of little um, pencil pouch type things with them, but you know, that's not my thing. So <laughs> I was like, what can I do with all these zippers? They just, you know, when you buy um, at thrift stores, you buy little sewing notions in, in a bag and they just put a bunch of stuff in a bag. There's always zippers in there. 
I've never bought zippers on purpose, believe me. But um, anyway, so I took some of the zippers. I have cut a zipper before, so I knew I could cut it I, when I was doing the, pe the pe pencil pouches. I was like, they were too long. I mean, also, that is another problem with the, the um, random zippers in these no Notion bags, sewing Notion bags. They are the longest zippers you have ever seen. No one, no wonder no one ever used them, right? <laughs> They're too long. So anyway, I cut them off when I did the zipper pouch. I was like, oh, I didn't know you could cut through a zipper. Who knew? So I learned it then. And even this is a metal zipper. I even cut through that. So I took some different colors to make this pretty and just cut up the zippers, glued them down any which way. Like here, this is a zipper pull up here. Here, this is a zipper pull up here. And I said before, I don't want to cover cover up the instructions, um, even though it doesn't make sense. Like, why did you put zippers on this page that says this? <laughs> um, you know, I wanted to see the original instructions. So I made sure I, like this one zipper is cut in half. That's just a piece of ha a half a one so that I could get it in between the lines so I could still see the instructions here. And um, the zipper pull came off of this one because I had cut it in half, and I put it right here as a little tab. Uh, I glued it down, I glued the whole thing down, but I thought if you wanted to, you could let it flip flip out and have that as a little tab, but it's still a little tab here. And so that is something to experiment with for our junk journals. Uh, zipper pull tabs, <laughs> it's metal, this one's metal, and it's pretty cool, I like it. So I might have to experiment with that in my junk journals, but. I like that idea of using just a little zipper pull like that on, I guess you could put it on ephemera or, you know, do lots of things. So I may be using my zipper pulls for different things in my journals because I never did that before and I just thought of it when I was able to just get it off. Once I cut up the zippers, I just pull it right off. So <clears throat> now that's three pages that I usually do three pages a week. And I didn't mean to do this all off video. I just was um, working with it and uh, it just happened. So um, the next one is climb up high, drop the journal. Okay, so that's another kind of what I consider boring kind of uh, prompt. You know, I, it's something I really don't want to do. I mean, what's the big deal? I guess if you climbed up high enough, you might damage it in some way. But, you know, um, I don't really want to damage it anyway. So... I thought, well, I couldn't I couldn't think of my other prompts that I had written down at the moment. So I looked them out around my craft room and said, what are some things in here that I would like to use up, but I don't, you know, and I don't necessarily have a use for them. So, you know, what do I need to use up? <laughs> and what can I just kind of glue down here and make something with? So I pulled these out. Now the flowers I plan on probably using, but these leaves... I think I actually even already threw some away, but um, yeah, I don't really have a plan for the leaves. So I thought maybe I could pull or cut some of these off of here and use them on this page. And this could be my leaf page. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It might just be, you know, boring, still boring, but less boring than dropping it off of, you know, from up high. And then you end up with, you know, nothing on this page. So I don't see, I don't understand prompts like that. I think the prompt should always be something. You're putting something on the page so that when you're done, you have a journal full of pages full of fun stuff, right? <laughs> I know there's a way to pull these off. I just don't want to, I don't have my wire cutters right here. And I don't want to go and get them right now. So I'm just cutting these leaves off. This is not any kind of, you know, perfect perfect craft or anything so let's just see I'm sure I'm gonna to have to glue these down with some fabric tack because they're kind of like almost like kind of plasticky you know just these are from Dollar Tree <laughs> just cheap little flower bunches so let's see if we can glue some flower some leaves down here and these are fake leaves so it's different some from what I've already done and I'm trying not to, I don't want to repeat things throughout the journal. I want to do something different on each page. So, um, you know, I haven't done anything like this. I do have some flowers here and here. And there are some other leaves here too, if I need. Let me go ahead and cut a couple of these off because these are different. And I might want to just mix it up here. <laughs> and I can put some flowers on here too if I want. But 
I might want to just do leaves. Let's see. I don't know. Let's just see what happens, I guess, right? Okay, so that might not be enough to cover, but we'll see. I've got more leaves there. Yeah, we're just going to glue leaves on this page and leave the instructions so I can see it. Let me dump off the leaf uh, extra little fibers there so we can get these glued down nicely. Get my little closures out of the way. So um, here's my fabric tag. <clears throat> get it going here. I got a new bottle. This one's almost, well, I probably got probably almost a it's probably a little over a quarter full, quarter, you know, quarter full, but still. You know how these bottles are. When you get down to the end, they never, they never end. <laughs> so I have a art glitter glue over there on my desk, upside down that I need to finish. But I do have a backup here for the Fabri-Tac. So let's just see how these glue down. I'll experiment for you in case you thought about this too, which you probably didn't, right? <laughs> but <clears throat> I just can't, you know, I think you have need to have some alternatives. And I'm not really, um, you know, a drawer. So <clears throat> I had to think of other things besides drawing, you know, type of things. I have to glue things down, I guess. <clears throat> but that's fun. I located, I have right here also, which um, I didn't know what I was going to do today. So I brought out the leaves and I brought out some stickers. So the stickers are probably going to be for another day because I think this leaf, this leaf, these leaf pages will take the rest of today. Let's see, let's alternate here. Let's see what this one looks like glued down. <clears throat> but um, yeah. Why not use up some of the things that maybe you've bought for your crafting, <laughs> but they're not, maybe you change your mind and you're not going to use them, or maybe there's parts of them that you're using and parts of them you're not, you know, you're using some, not using some parts, so why not figure out a way to use it in your wreck this journal, and then it won't, ha won't go to waste, or you might won't have to throw it away or give it to Goodwill, or, you know, <laughs> try to you know, pawn it off on somebody else. <laughs> Why not just try to use it here in an artistic way? And, you know, you'll have that good memory to look back on. You'll remember, oh yeah, I remember when I glued all those leaves down there. These are, these are sticking. They are sticking. Let's see. They don't have to be like perfect, as I keep saying, I know, but I would like them nice and stuck down. This journal is getting quite fluffy, and I don't think we're halfway through, so I can imagine what it's going to look like when it's done, right? Okay, well, these are going to take a while. See, that's why I do a lot of it off video and then just show you what I did, because I need to keep this upside down so my glue's keeps flowing but um yeah that's why I do a lot of it off video because it does take some time and I know that you know <clears throat> a lot of people that do these probably do take a lot of time on the pages especially if they're drawers and they're drawing very drawing coloring painting very intricate designs I can imagine that that takes a lot of time so I'm trying to think of things that you know, they might take a little time, but not too much time, because I just really don't have that much time <laughs> as far as, you know, after work and even on the weekends, you know, got things to do, like take care of the house and do things with the family and, you know, laundry and whatever, all that kind of stuff. So, so I do like to make them quick, but fun. And pretty something interesting possibly artistic okay let's put one over here start filling up this page Don't, not covering up so you can still read that climb I think <laughs> okay let's do another one of these let's see which is the back and which is the front here So 
so I might have to put a flower on here. We'll see. I like the leaves though. It's different, right? <laughs> and I'm using them. The words I pulled out, or the stickers are words, some words. I thought I might look at the words and there's, I know there's a page in here that says <clears throat> to add uh, four letter words. So these are some stickers that I bought when I first started making journals and I was used, I used them a little bit, but then <clears throat> I kind of more went more toward the vintage style type things. And I kind of stopped using them because not that I don't like them. It's just that they are gold, shiny gold. And I just don't really, and I don't use a lot of stickers in my journals anyway. You know what I mean? I just really don't use them. Um, uh, and if you have stickers, if you have some pretty stickers that you don't know what to do with, um, you can make cards out of them. They make really nice, you know, decorations on the fronts of cards if you want to make some cards. So that is an idea for you to um, use up your stickers that maybe you don't know where else to use them. Make some card, make some pretty cards. That's what I'm, I've done before and I'm thinking about making some more because I've got some beautiful, beautiful like 3D stickers and stuff. So, and then the other stickers I pulled out besides the words, the gold, shiny gold words, are um, some just flowery stickers. I think I got them at a thrift store. I don't think there's any, they're not some I bought like, you know, for my junk journals. I just came along with something else, you know what I mean? And they're pretty enough. They're pretty enough. They're just not like vintage -y or anything like that. So... You know, they're just not something I would use in my the current journals that I make, so might as well use them in here, right? So this is what can we call this besides the leaf page? <laughs> and um if you guys have any ideas for any of the prompts like that are in the future, now I'm watching Gardena and I have her linked below and I have Christina linked below and um <clears throat> You know some other ladies that are doing if I find your video and I will link it below I have a three I think linked under there so check them out too because they're they're having some great ideas and they're on different they're either some of them are doing different wreck this journals and some of them are just doing different pages maybe in random order or something you know I'm kind of trying to go in order so far I've stayed in order but I had serious doubts after these three pages. I was like, you know, these pages were all kind of, you know, things I didn't want to do all in a row. And I was like, oh gosh, maybe I should start skipping around. <laughs> but, you know, I kind of made myself go ahead and do these. So I wouldn't have to say, well, you know, I don't know what to do here. I'm going to come back to it type of thing. So this one's kind of a leaf collage over here. And this one, I don't want to cover up the instructions, so they're kind of more spaced out. So we could call this our jungle page, full of leaves, right? Like a jungle. <laughs> I don't know. What would a 10-year-old call it, Christina? <laughs> Maybe she can give me some ideas. <laughs> okay. Oh, I like that. I think I need... This page looks good. I like, I like it kind of like just like that. I need, um, let's see, where's some more of those little skinny green ones? And I want to finish this before my time runs out, so let's see if we can get it done here. Got two there. I do need to use all of these up because <clears throat> I don't know what else I would use them on. You know what I mean? I'm not going to use them in my journals. I might use the flowers, but not the... That's what I bought the flowers for to use in my journals, but not the, I didn't have any plan for the leaves. So <laughs> let's use them up. Oh, that one just came right off. Maybe I cut it already. Okay. I want to hurry a little bit. So like, oh, that one just popped off too. Okay. Okay. That's, it. that's all the, all the leaves. Look, we use them all up. If we can get all these glued down, maybe, oh, I turned my glue right side up. Shouldn't have done that, Sherry. Now it's going to take more time. Okay, so let's see what's not glued down. None of this is glued down. Yeah, I need a nice 
different one there. <clears throat> So this is our jungle page. And we need a parrot right in the middle of it probably, right? Parrots live in the jungle besides other animals and birds. I just thought of a parrot because that would be pretty to um, have a colorful parrot right in the middle. Maybe I'll look around for a parrot or some kind of other colorful jungle bird to put in here. Of course, do, do parrots live in the jungle? I don't know, I'm picturing it tropical jungle, I guess. And because I'm from Florida, even though I live in North Carolina now, it used to be in South Florida, people would buy parrots. Some people buy parrots. Some people don't let them go. But some people, I don't know if they would get away or they let them go or what. But there ended up being, and there probably still is, I don't live there anymore, so I don't see them anymore. But in South Florida, like I lived in Fort Lauderdale area, <clears throat> They um, have, I would see, flocks of parrots, believe it or not. This is a true story. If you ever lived in Florida, you know. <laughs> there are flocks of parrots. Not a lot, but once in a while, you would see a flock of parrots fly over your house. <laughs> I'm serious. Just like um, the iguanas. That's how iguanas came to be wild in Florida. There didn't used to be wild um, iguanas running around, but now people have bought them and let them go, and now you see iguanas. <laughs> I hear, now that's happened since I moved. That didn't used to be, when I lived there, they didn't have them, but I heard that's how it is now. That's how it is in Mexico. I went to Mexico a couple times, and you'd look over, and there's an iguana sitting right next to you. <laughs> a big one, too, big ones. So, yeah. I hear that's happened in South Florida now, where um, people have let their iguanas go, or they got away and made families, and so now there's iguanas everywhere, and same with the parrots. Um, cockatiels, too, um, people either let them go or, <clears throat> or they get away, and uh, we found one once, uh, just a lonely cockatiel, and took it in, in Florida when we lived in Florida. We had it for a little while, and uh, I think we gave it away after a little while. But um, we kept it for a little while. It was fun to have a little bird, a little cockatiel for a while. And uh, just caught it, caught it, but it was somebody's pet. You could tell it was friendly. And uh, so we kept it for a while. Had a little pet bird. But there we go. <clears throat> so that's my jungle page. I don't have a parrot right now or a cockatiel or anything. <laughs> or an iguana to put in here. So um, I will maybe look for something if I uh, remember and do that. So I actually did four pages because I want to do one on video with you guys. So all of that, so we've got all of this done. Awesome, let's see what we get to do next week. Compost this page, watch it deteriorate. Oh, so I'm gonna have to think of something for that because you know I'm not going to compost this page but I do have a garden so I don't know compost makes me think of a garden and I love this little worm right here so maybe something with worms we'll see and not real ones though and the next one which would be our second page for next week if I do three a week <clears throat> this one says do a really ugly drawing use a ugly subject matter and the words it says here are gum poo dead things a badly drawn bird mold barf and crud okay <laughs> well let's see um bird bird i can do i can do the bird uh, everything else is i'm not sure about so we'll see what happens there Place sticky things here. Honey, gum, syrup, glue, sucker, or marshmallow. But sticky things can be a lot of things. I think I've seen people put stickers. So here, there you go. I could use some stickers on that page. So that might be our sticker page. So that's what we're going to work on next week. If you guys have any ideas for me, please let me know. I would love to get some alternative prompts. <laughs> so thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next week. Happy crafting.